good morning everyone uh, i'm welcome you all to this day 20 of csr online training today we are going to the discussing the remaining part of that uh, uh, unit 6 part uh, another part this is the uh, it's a very vast one uh, so in the second session i am taking too much of time for unit 6 because uh, it's very important in the two mark portion but they are asking us like uh, direct questions so we can answer the easily answer that questions only i am taking uh, too much of time we all may you may know the citric acid cycle is also called as krebs cycle and it's also called as the tca cycle this tca cycle means tricarboxylic acid uh, this are all the various name of citric acid cycle in this citric acid cycle oxaloacetate is converted to the citrate using the citrate synthase enzyme this conversion enzymes are very very important they provided us a statement then ask the questions what kind of enzymes is used in the oxaloacetate conversion so this whole thing is very important this oxaloacetate to citrate conversion it's carries uh, it's done by the citrate synthesis enzyme during this enzyme reaction acetyl coa is converted into the into uh, acetyl co uh, acetyl coa sh that is thio compound then this citrate is converted into the cis uh, uh, acetonitrate uh, okay this conversion is can uh, done with actinase enzyme this acetonitrate ac 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 this called converted into the isocitrate this isocitrate is done conversion is happen with aconitase this uh, uh, this addition of ferric um, um, compound this ferric compound is very important in this step because uh, where wherever wherever you can uh, uh, write this cycle you want to mention this ionic in ionic uh, uh, ionic molecule activity in this uh, citric acid cycle and one more thing uh, in other cycle in all other cycle you didn't get uh, any uh, ionic interactions now all are about uh, the all all kind of uh, conversions are happen with the uh, in this step that uh, isocitrate production is converted its production is happen with the ions then this uh, isocitrate is converted into oxalosucinate this oxalosucinate is conversion happen with the isocitrate dehydrogenase uh, one thing here i let you know here dehydrogenase this they mention dehydrogenase dehydrogenase means that is removal of hydrogen atom here you can see uh, that uh, uh, in this step the nadh is removed with h so that is nad converted into nad that produce the oxalosucinate then oxalosucinate is converted into the di d uh, alpha ketoglutarate this alpha ketoglutarate conversion step it uh, helps to produce the succinyl coa this succinyl coa is converted into succinate with the help of succinate thiokinase uh, then this succinate thio uh, you uh, succinate is converted into fumarate fumarate conversion happen with the succinate dehydrogenase so again it's a removal of and uh, uh, that is hydrogen uh, molecule sharing and fumarate is converted into maltate with the enzyme activity fumarase okay here uh, one thing these are all the steps and enzymes uh, here they used uh, water molecule for their reaction water molecule added and water molecule removal okay where they added the water molecule in this step two two water molecules are added in the uh, citric acid cycle and two water molecules are removed from the citric acid cycle these are all the important key notes in the citric acid production and uh, here uh, in this cycle itself uh, we can see the nad fad and atp 
all energy molecules three energy molecules are produced in this phase uh, except uh, all other cycles are producing any two or one but in this citric acid cycle you can produce all kind of energy this is the easiest form of understanding here you can see that acetylcholine a this acetylcholine a is added uh, is added with the citrate the citrate molecule is uh, um, uh, converted into isocitrate this isocitrate is converted with the help of uh, that uh, any uh, removal of any d uh, that conversion of nad to nadh happened between isocitrate to alpha ketoglucoate gluco glutaraldehyde conversion after that we uh, uh, that there was some changes with this succinate a succin uh, succinase enzymes that produce this succinyl coa that is four carbon uh, the carbon atoms are very important first step oxaloacetate you can see uh, see first step that citric citrate that citrate having six uh, carbon then alpha keta glutate having five carbon now succinyl coa having the six carbon these are all the things is very very important in the uh, that uh, exam point of view okay next is uh, succinate that is uh, four carbon again that is uh, structural formation succinate fumarate maldate and that is converted to oxaloacetate okay these are all the things are i uh, focused in the uh, citric acid cycle okay these are all steps by step the atp production in chlo chloroplast stroma uh, this is the chloroplast uh, the uh, chloroplast stroma in this uh, that atp production step is very important this atp production has happened with the four different complexes uh, thus uh, the first complex is atp that uh, uh, receiving the light here you can see that it's it's receiving the light molecule it's receiving the light molecule and uh, it's uh, converting the water to hydrogen and oxygen then using this hydrogen that second complex cytochrome will be uh, it's getting activated this you due to this activated activation there was some the plastocyanin activations happens this plastocyanin activate the complex 3 that enter into the complex 3 that producing the NAD NADPH this one kind another thing it's a H this H is helps to directly acting the complex 4 that complex 4 is um, producing helps to producing ADP to ATP these are all the things are very important in the uh, consider uh, important in the chloroplast stroma and another thing is uh, organization how it is uh, uh, electron transport chain is organized and uh, how it is produce the ATP ATPs in, uh, in the uh, inner membrane okay first step is uh, first complex inner membrane having this uh, uh, complex one in this complex one that produce NADH uh, NADH2 NAD NAD plus this is the anion in the first complex it's a complex one this complex one is an enzyme called as NADH dehydrogenase this one first complex it's uh, accepting the four electrons and converting the NADH to NA NADH into uh, NAD plus here you can understand the concept of enzyme okay this enzyme is present in this overlay over the Membr inner membrane this inner membrane uh, and uh, this enzyme helps to convert the NAD convert the this uh, NADH to NAD plus this is a uh, uh, one dehydrogenous enzyme activity and next thing the next thing is the uh, the surface uh, 
எக்ஸ்டர் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் டிஹைட்ரஜனைஸ் என்சைம்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் இன்னர் டிஹைட்ரஜனைஸ் தென் இது எக்ஸ்டர்னல் டிஹைட்ரஜனைஸ் திஸ் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் டிஹைட்ரஜனைஸ் கேன் அக்செப்ட் தி எலக்ட்ரான் அண்ட் டைரக்ட்லி இட்ஸ் ரிலீஸ் தி என்ஏடி இன்டு சைட்டோசோல் ஃபஸ்ட்டு த இன்டர்னல் த இன்டர் மெம்பரேன் டிஹைட்ரஜனைஸ் இஸ் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் டு கன்வெர்ட் தி மாலிக்குல் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ரிலீஸ் இட் இன் தி சைட்டோப்ளாஸ் இந்த இந்தி இன்னர் மெம்பரேன் பட் தட் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் சர்ஃபைஸ் மெட் சர்ஃபைஸ் ரிசப்ட் தட் ரிசப்ட் என்சைம் டிஹைட்ரஜனைஸ் என்சைம் கன்வெர்ட் தி மாலிக்குல் அண்ட் ரிலீஸ் இன் தி சைட்டோப்ளாசம் ஓகே திஸ் டூ திங் ஒன் இஸ் திஸ் போத் ஆர் ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி த செகண்ட் போத் ஆர் அதி ஹியர் திஸ் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் தட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் இன்டர்னல் ப்ரெசன்ட் பட் தட் இன் நாட் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் இன்னர் ஸோ இட்ஸ் கால் இட்ஸ் தி எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ஆஃப் இன்னர் மெம்பரே ஸோ யூட்டிலைசிங் தி சிஏ கால்சியம் அயான்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு என்ஏடி ப்ளஸ் மாலிக்யூல் இட்ஸ் ஒன் திங் ஃபஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் யூட்டிலைசேஷன் ஆஃப் ஹச் ப்ளஸ் செகண்ட் இஸ் யூட்டிலைசேஷன் ஆஃப் சிஏ டூ ப்ளஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் இட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர்ட் காம்பவுண்ட் இஸ் யூபிகியூட்டியன் காம்பவுண்ட் this ubiquitin compound is a uh, free uh, it's a freely movable within the membrane so and it serves uh, it, it serves a transfer electron it's a, it's a server of the transfer electron it can easily uh, pass and absorb the electron and uh, move to any part of plant and release the electron to the specific activity this is all all the complex uh, 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 this ubiquitous complex activity this ubiquitous complex activity can transfer the electron to complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 uh, inner uh, complex external co- in inner uh, uh, dehydrogenase enzyme external dehydrogenase enzyme. for all enzyme it's release the uh, electron it's uh, one thing it's not release the electron for the atp synthase enzyme it's the atp synthase enzyme is a independent enzyme so won't get get the any electron from our ubiquitin uh, ubiquitin ubiquitin molecule okay then second complex the first of the discussed about the uh, nadh dehydrogenase that is a complex number 1 then external dehydrogenase that is uh, that is the in between and uh, ubiquitin molecule that is the inner membrane compound another thing we now we are going to discuss about the u- complex 2 complex 2 is a succinate dehydrogenase enzyme this succinate dehydrogenase enzyme will helps to convert the uh, enzyme uh, succinate to fumarate using the electron transfer okay succinate to fumarate conversion another thing is uh, complex uh, uh, four function three function that is the cytochrome bc1 complex the cytochrome bc1 complex is helps to uh, release the hydrogen ions from inner to inner membrane to outer membrane or uh, that uh, outer part of the cell and uh, another region alternative oxidase enzyme this alternative oxidase enzyme is nearer to here you can see that is extra part here present here this ox- alternative oxidase pathway accepts the electrons from di- directly from ubiquitin molecule using that molecule it's convert o2 into hydrogen h2 molecule okay it's absorbing the light uh, that uh, electron molecule and it's converting the oxygen into uh, h2 how it is uh, how it is converting that electron is carries the hydrogen ions that hydrogen using that hydrogen ions it's converting what co2 into water this is a overall image which help you to understand what happen in the plant so please understand the concepts and fourth concept fourth complex is the cytochrome oxidase the cytochrome oxidase it's uh, absorbing uh, the o2 converting the o2 to h2o it's also absorbing the electrons from ubiquitin molecule this uh, cytochrome uh, cytochrome 
ox, uh, oxidase uh, so oxycytochrome bc1 the cytochrome bc1 is uh, is helpful for transfer of the h plus ion that uh, another thing is cytochrome oxidase the cytochrome oxidase alone helps to convert o2 to h2o this uh, o2 to h2o conversion is happen with the electron pairing and uh, it's also released two hydrogen ions this uh, this uh, till now we discussed the four complex and small molecule small con small external dehydrogenase enzymes all things are doing uh, major role in plant uh, plant uh, uh, physiology here uh, this uh, another thing is the atp synthase it's the biggest one it's the biggest protein on the present in the plant this atp synthase helps to convert uh, the AT ADP to ATP. In this step, it is observing 3 plus ions, 3 hydrogen ions from external surface and it is utilizing that ions and producing ATP to ADP to ATP. Now, you can understand the concept in the uh, ATP synthase. Next, we are going to discuss about the mitochondrial electron transport chain same process as, uh, as like uh, ATP synthase inner membrane is a inner membrane so in this process is this whole process is called as the uh, inner membrane uh, region reaction that is a ATP synthase process this up this whole process called as the uh, that ATP synthesis process then up among the upper uh, from this ATP synthesis we have extra uh, some reactions, some process in the mitochondrial transport chain. Mitochondrial transport chain, they have a Krebs cycle output product and that having the uh, extra some uh, complex 1, 2, 3 in the cell surface or uh, in the membrane, inner membrane, except ATP synthase. This uh, membrane having the complex. Uh, 2, 3, 4 that won't having ATP synthesis that is the another uh, mitochondrial membrane potential process the triaxin transport chain process uh, here are the explanation of uh, the oxidase uh, alternative oxidase in, the in the using this oxidase uh, alternative oxidase that producing O2 to H2O so it's very important thing in this uh, plant physiology okay here is that absorbing the external uh, that uh, NAD uh, NAD H2 NAD conversion that that under the utilization of external NADH dehydrogenation this dehydrogenase enzyme is helpful for uh, their uh, ubiquitin ubiquitin molecule activity then alternative DH uh, NADH dehydrogenose. This helps to also converting the NAD H2 NAD NAD. Then complex one then succinate dehydrogenase. Okay. Then uh, apart from this uh, alternative succinase, this uh, alternative succinase is uh, uh, converting. Uh, the oxygen as usual I said the converting oxygen to H2O that uh, thing is helpful for the respiration of the plant this is the photorespiration in this photorespiration step by process step by step process I am included in this slide because uh, the photosynthesis respiration is not uh, happen in one region of plant it's happen in the step by step process in the first step it should happen in the chloroplast then it's uh, move to the paroxysome then it's happen in the mitochondria that is the Krebs cycle or uh, it's happen with the that Kelvin cycle then after the conversions of some molecules that uh, the again the product is involved in the paroxysome then paroxysome release the product into the chloroplast that final product Okay, next the major important topic in the uh, unit 6 plant physiology is nitrogen metabolism. Why we need nitrogen metabolism in the plant? Uh, that uh, every every organisms needs 
carbon hydrogen nitrogen source but in the in, uh, if for our uh, for human and animals that nitrogen source is absorbed from the nature uh, right uh, this absorbed nitrogens are utilized for the various cycles but here the in the plant there is uh, in uh, till till uh, till now we studied that released o2 or it utilizing the h2o that kind of things for utilizing h so there is no nitrogen for their growth so that nitrogen metabolism is helpful for their nitrogen uptake in this nitrogen metabolism the protein degradation happen and it's turn over into uh, various uh, amino acid synthesis and uh, it will helps for various cycles that is the amino acid urea cycle the nitrogen cycle nitrogen fixation amino acid synthesis and amino acid derivative production these are all the sequential process of nitrogen metabolism okay it's so a what happened in the nitrogen it's a very very important thing uh, because uh, mm, they ask the questions from this kind of uh, output based one nitrogen cycle the nitrogen fixation what is nitrogen fixation n2 is converted into nh4 this is called as the nitrogen fixation the n2 the nitrogen and nitrate molecule is converted into nh4 it's a nitrogen fixation the nitrification nitrification means that nh more nh3 molecule is converted into nh n o2 nh3 molecule is converted into n o2 this n o2 is converted into n o3 minus this step is happen with sequential process or happen this sequential process are called as the nitrification then denitrification means that is a reverse process that uh, no2 and co2 is converted into n2 denitrification means that the final product is n2 no2 and n n c n o2 and n o3 these are all converted into n2 then nitrogen assembly assembliation this step in this step they having nh4 organic nitrogen molecule nh4 organic nitrogen molecule uh, so deamination process that the organic nitrogen is converted into amino acids right uh, that are uh, in the it's a final step each and every step they they did to many things uh, but this amino acid conversion is very very important it's a deamination that conversion the newly produced uh, protein that uh, uh, synthesis the protein or uh, uh, protein in the plant that having the amino acids that deamination means that amino acids are dissolved and separated that amino acids are um, produce the organic nitrogen that organic nitrogen is the uh, final product that uh, another one thing that the assimilation then the assimilation nh4 is converted into n organic nitrogen here uh, they mention the uh, step by step process uh, where this happen the nitrate is converted into ammonia when its reduction by some bacteria anaerobic bacteria most of the plants are doing this uh, reduction that in nitrate in o3 to nh4 conversion then nitrogen fixation that is in h in nitrate to or uh, it's converted to n2 n2 into ammonia the conversion of nitrate to n2 it's called as d the denitrification the conversion of n2 uh, from from n2 to ammonia in h4 is called as the nitrogen fixation n2 is conversion uh, uh, converting the uh, converted into NH4, it's called as the denitrification, uh, the nitrogen fixation process. Then the nitrate NO3 is converted into N2, that is called as the 
denitrification that is the major important influencing thing in the our uh, unit uh, 6 in uh, this part it's very very important thing in the question point of view so only i'm repeating this this is another uh, production of amino acids and secondary metabolites okay first during use using this nitrogen as assimilation that nitrogen assimilation that nitrogen is helps to the amino acids that is uh, or it's produced to flow chloroplast these amino acids are it's converted into purine and polyamine then that is utilized that is utilized by the chloroplast and chloroplast uh, uh, it's uh, use using the polypeptides and lipids use from that uh, for outputs of uh, the nitrogen assimilation we can uh, use the products in the photosynthesis using the photosynthesis we just earlier discussed it's happen in the our uh, inner membrane so that is uh, self that mesophils or it's uh, uh, it's happened in the our uh, mitochondrial membrane it's helpful for the anaerobic amino acid production secondary metabolite production and nucleotides production then uh, it's a very very important and uh, uh, light uh, it's uh, understandable thing in the plant physiology and the nitrogen fixation topic here you can see uh, it's absorbing the uh, NO3 plus and NO3 minus and NH4 plus molecule. So, that how it is uh, uh, absorbed through the root, it is absorbing through the uh, water, water plus some acids are entered into the plant. This plant is helpful to, uh, it is helpful for the production of uh, that cycle, that uh, metabolism pathways that activation of metabolic pathways are happen with the uh, that uh, plant utilizing process plant utilization means that utilizing through the root here you can see it's a happening of uh, amino acid glutaradical produced from mitochondria how it is produced that our uh, molecule uh, oxygen oxalo it's converted into in it's added to in H4 that converting the TDH molecule convert using the TDH it's producing glutaradical. Then another thing it's here you can see that uh, glucose and uh, activation of NH4 plus ions are producing the glycine. These are all the amino acid production pathway. All amino acid production pathways are happen with the nitrogen metabolic pathway so only uh, the getting the metabolites that energy all the things that happen with the are uh, uh, nitrogen molecules uh, this is step by step process you, you we discussed in the earlier slide itself that nitrogen nitrogen nitrate 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 nitrite uh, ammonia l glutamine and l glutamate then al alpha amino acid this is the final conclusion of the product nitrogen fixation metabolism this is uh, another one representation of the uh, amino uh, that uh, nitrogen fixation uh, as i said uh, earlier I am including more images for your understanding, so don't get confused. It's uh, uh, whether it is varied from other. Okay, how it is utilizing the uh, nitrogen molecule? Okay, in that uh, nitrate here you can see the nitrate molecule. Nitrate molecule is the converted into NO3. It's using the bacteria. Then it is de uh, detrifying the bacteria is helping it to convert it into N2 that is the nitrogen molecule and it is utilized by the soil microbe. It is uh, one thing 
another thing is that nitrite is converted into ami amine assimilation process in this assimilation process that nitrogen containing organic compost that compounds are extracted that is are produced in the plant then is a decomposer decomposer is helps to converting that nitrate into ammonia that is the in h3 plus ions this is a basic thing and uh, in the metabolism of nitrogen uh, how much amount of energy is utilized so utilizing n2 plus 8 electrons 8 hydrogen hydrogens that is quarter molecule then 16 atp this uh, uh, is converted into 2 nh3 2 nh3 molecule plus n uh, h2 molecule 1 h2 molecule 16 adp plus uh, 16 uh, pi molecule this uh, now you can uh, if they ask any kind of question you can basic on based on glycine you can answer the question because uh, the very important things are we discuss in the class please uh, go and go through some uh, books about the CSIR examination because without understanding the question pattern we can't uh, able to predict uh, okay this kind of questions are there okay amino acid synthesis process using this amino acid synthesis process That glucose is converted into as usual we we, we are all discussed the glucose converted into pyruvate that the pyruvate is utilized in the citric acid cycle this same process happen in the plant also we discuss this uh, in this step we where where we can be uh, amino acids using this glucose is, uh, glucose is converted to glucose 6 phosphate this glucose 6 phosphate converted into glucose ribose uh, 5 phosphate or phi or phi p this ribose 5 phosphate helps to convert the histidine molecule histidine and serine molecule this is very very important uh, image and uh, its uh, data uh, please listen that glucose converted into glucose 6 phosphate that glucose 6 phosphate converted into ribose ribose 5 phosphate this ribose 5 phosphate uh, its help for the uh, or uh, histidine molecule histidine molecule conversion production then second thing is uh, our uh, uh, serine molecule conversion using that histidine itself it's producing this serine otherwise the another pathway is that that six glucose six phosphate is converted to glucose three phosphate this glucose three phosphate is converted into the serine molecule okay this four all having this uh, uh, serine and histidine having four step process ok next is uh, uh, erythro this glu three glucose three phosphocholesterol ligand is converted into erythrose four phosphate this erythrose four phosphate is uh, erythrose four phosphate helps to convert phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan this one this is the uh, uh, is also following the pentose pathway uh, this green color thing uh, that uh, in here mentioned that uh, yellow color things are the pentose pathway blue colors are glycolysis and the green color is citric acid cycle so the histidine and serine can produced by the pentose pathway pentose phosphate pathway and and also it's produced by the glycolysis pathway that is one point another point is uh, uh, how can we predict the uh, the produce the phenylalanine it's a uh, it's a uh, pentose phosphate pathway basic reaction intermediate molecule is produced from the glycolysis process okay this is all helpful that uh, erythrose 4 phosphate is converting the amino acids into Phenyl and that producing the amino acids that produce the amino acids are called as phenylalanine and tyrosine and tryptophan. Then is uh, this uh, phosphoenol pyruvate conversion. Phosphoenol pyruvate conversion is helps for the uh, production of 
alanine uh, that production of pyruvate that produced pyruvate is held first by alanine valine isoleucine and leucine these are all the four things are produced from the pyruvate pathway that is glycolysis pathway then now we enter into the uh, topic the citric acid cycle then the citric acid cycle it can produce the glutamine proline alge, argin, arginine uh, aspartin and uh, aspartate methionine threonine lysine uh, using this keto alpha keto glutaride glutaraldehyde it's producing the glutamate alpha d glutaraldehyde to glutamate this glutamate is uh, uh, helps to produce the amino acids proline glutamine and arginine then another thing is oxaloacetate this oxaloacetate helps to produce the aspartate that are aspartate converted converted molecules are uh, aspartate mol it's can it's can it's can be convert the molecule into various amino acids that amino acids are called as the aspartate aspartate methionine threonine and lysine these four things are happen with the uh, this citric acid cycle outputs okay why we need to understand this concept we ask the questions with the enzymes or conversion steps and the products produced product okay uh, in that question they are providing the uh, providing the match the following question first is the uh, uh, is a lysine so uh, the first column having the lysine second column having the oxaloacetate and the third column are uh, any 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 enzyme you, for example if, can, if you if that is an unknown enzyme means you want to un, uh, you want to find out okay here the question is the uh, mm, the energy that the question is based on the amino acid production step uh, which which is the raw product that is the first step product and which is the final stage product this are all the important thing in the our uh, amino acid synthesis pathway that uh, they are asking like a question in the match the following questions here uh, the overall process happen in the chloroplast mitochondria and cytosol in this chloroplast they are uh, it's a cyclic process Here the amino acid synthesis in the, uh, the, the, the in the various steps that uh, first uh, you first you can see here uh, the uh, conversion of uh, pyruvate pi carbon system uh, is producing a proline that produced the proline is utilized for in the phi p phi c and it's you it's producing the methyl meth methane so that methane is uh, helpful for producing the arginine arginine produces the urea these are all the sequential process it's happen in the various process various steps and various part of the plant in the mitochondrial chloroplast the proline is produced in the proline and glutamate it's produced in the cytoplast cytosol or chloroplast and the in the mitochondria it's produced the uh, glutamate and uh, it's a uh, arginine arginine urea, urea molecule and chloroplast it's produce the fumarate arginine arginine and uh, crystalline that kind of things are formed in the are uh, produced in the various part of plants this plants uh, that part are mentioned here it's an another uh, representation of uh, uh, amino acid production uh, once again, I am telling this, I am ref adding that for reference, more understanding only, I am included the images. Okay, what is nitrogen assimilation? How it has happened? I don't know, you, wh what is the use of the nitrogen assimilation? Soil uptake, using the soil uptake, that hydrogen molecules are directly absorbed through the plant. 
that is NO3 conversion that NO3 is converted into NO2 minus that NO2 minus it's uh, used uh, it's converted into NH4 plus molecule this NH4 molecule is uh, it can be produced from it can be obtained from soil it can be uh, produced from biological nitrogen fixation or it can be produced from photorespiration or it can be uh, produced by the amino acid and pro protein degradation in the pro in this or after this or all the step that produced uh, molecule is helps to convert the glutamate and glutamine that the glutamine and glutamate are converted into the oxaloglutarate and glutamine so as usual the final step product is the glutamine and uh, it happen with a different pathways right that nitrogen assimilation that using that that uh, uh, both pathways are released in the same product that's a glutamine uh, that photosynthesis product also producing the glutamine using this glutamine they produce the aspartine and the amino acids this is assimilation process the equation uh, no3 minus plus nadh plus h plus ions are uh, converted and I uh, reacted under the nitrate reductase. This nitrate reductase is helps to produce the NO2 minus. So very 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 notable thing is the nitrogen reductase. It's convert the NO3 my two NO2 minus. In this step, NADH is converted into NAD. And another thing is uh, NO2 NO2 is converted into NO NH4. That is also happened with the nitrogen reductase. That is uh, release of 8 hydrogen molecules and 6 electron molecules. Okay, next to the very very important part as the plant growth hormones. Th this plant growth hormones are uh, is uh, naturally it's produced from uh, the things called as phytoprome. This is naturally present in the nature plant and synthetical plot plant growth hormones are though they also there that um, uh, naturally produced are plant growth promoters and growth inhibitors okay what is the plant growth promoters plant growth promoters are helps for their uh, the growth of plant and production of materials all those things that are axin, citrulline and cytokine. Another thing is the growth inhibitors that is ethylene and ascorbic acids. Uh, uh, in the in uh, next upcoming slides also I will explain the use of uh, this uh, hormones and some of the synthetic hormones are there there are NAA and IAA. Okay. Uh, for example, of the classification of growth hormones that are major things are five another uh, some uh, some additional things are also present in the plant the axin it's iaa iba and naa these are all the short forms of uh, the uh, that for for plant growth hormones uh, that indole acetic acid uh, indole butyric acids and uh, these are all the short uh, the explanation. Gipralin, that gipralin is uh, produced, uh, is a produ example is a gipralic acid. Cytokines is a kinetin uh, and is a zeachin. Then ethylene, it's a ethylene example. Dormines is a ascorbic acids. Then flour, flouring hormones are uh, flourgin, anthesin and vernalin. Then miscellaneous natural substance, then miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous natural substance are uh, cislitols, vitamins, phytochromes and chromatic substance. Then phenolic substance are cumarin, cumarin is a phenolic substance. Then synthetic plant uh, growth uh, retardants also available in the plant that are the uh, malic uh, hydro uh, hydrozoid morphactin and postponed these are all the some things in the uh, synthetic growth in retardants 
then in the mesolent uh, me synthetic substance that are another things are synthetic acids and synthetic phytoins these are all the type of and classification of the plant growth hormones uh, please remember their role the flowering means that is the florigen and uh, anthocyan and vernalin and uh, it if it is we want to the growth means that is the vary so each and every functions of uh, plant growth hormones are very very important okay this uh, where where all where it can where, where the uh, it used the peptide hormones are are contributed to abiotic stress tolerance where it is used for temperature tolerance that used used the, they used the IDA and IDAL PIP these are all the hormonal short forms uh, separate material I will provide n number of hormones are there I'll may I will provide the explanation in the uh, in the study material that uh, then another is uh, tough dehydration to avoid this dehydration to maintain the dehydration we used CIF and CLE for sulfur ion maintaining some hormones are there for nitrogen maintaining they using the CEP and CLE for phosphorus maintenance they using the CLE here uh, it is a repeated one it is a table form here the uh, each and every uh, uh, hormones are produced in different pathways how it is produced in the first step that is a bacterial pathway in that bacterial pathway that uh, indole astamide that is the IAM it's produced the uh, molecule uh, directly produced the indole acetic acid that is the IAA. IAA is the axin <coughs> molecule. It's uh, using the IAM hydrolase. Then another pathway is using the indole acid aceto acetomyl. Acetylodoximin. This acetylodoximin is contributed to indole acetonitrate uh, nitrile. This indole acetonitrile is converting into indole acetic acid using the enzyme nitrolase. Nitrolase. Uh, these are all the things uh, very important. Nitrolase is involved in the conversion of IAA that is the indole acetic acid. Then another pathway is the indole 3 pyruvic acid pathway pyruvic acid pathway it's a tryptophan is converted into indole 3 pyruvic acid that converted into indole 3 acetyl hydrate molecule that converted acetohydryl molecule it's into indole 3 acetic acid this indole is the, now the it's a first the one step the another subdivision of the um, uh, that step is uh, that Tryptophan is converted into tryptamine, the tryptamine is converted into indole 3 acetal acetaldehyde. Okay. In this all this step they are used like utilizing the enzyme. Without enzyme, there is no reaction happen with the other uh, plant hormones. Uh, now you can un you, you all understand I think so uh, about the uh, how it is produced, the axin, how it is produced. IAM is nothing but the it's a example for the axin. Then cytokine synthesis. In the cytokine synthesis itself that is carry the uh, pla in the plant that producing some pathway. In the plant that the first one thing is uh, in the cytochrome is producing the uh, IRPTP that PDP it converted into the or uh, molecule is that the is that DP. Then the final product is coming to is that MP. Then is that R. Then it's coming to the uh, that glucose uh, that uh, cis uh, zatin. This is zatin is converted to uh, that uh, glucose glucosyl cis zatin and it's converted to 
glucosyl trans uh, CR2 this two things are produced in the sequential process the cytokines synthesized in the root and transported to transported uh, acro petally via the phylum this uh, acro petally means that is a it's a uh, it's a it's uh, like a nerve system in the plant that is uh, absorbing the molecule produced molecule and transfer to the various part of the plant then it's uh, another pathway of iaa production it's a various representation here we can see the same thing that am tpa and ia that are producing the various pathways and the final product is ia uh, then it's a glutaraldehyde pathway that uh, clies yeah glutaraldehyde pathway it's uh, producing the uh, different uh, myons and molecules to the plants with the various sequential steps the synthesis of ethylene it's ethylene is produced from methionine that is amino acid methionine helps to it's converted into s adenosyl methionine this s adenosyl methionine is converted into one amino cyclopropan uh, one car carboxylic acid these two are having uh, the enzymes used is the acc acc means the amino cyclopropane one carboxylic acid this acc is uh, uh, converted using the acp oxidase and acp synthase uh, it's another uh, re representation table representation here you can they mention a different n number of the functions here the structures of uh, our uh, axins that is uh, uh, in the axin they mention IAA that is the example this pro uh, this product is found in the shoot apical meristems and the cytokines it is present in the root and the gypsolin that is the GA3 it is present uh, apical portion of the root and shoot ethylene is uh, present in the leaf stem in fruits and ascorbic acid is present in the mature leaf uh, here in, a, uh, in this upcoming slide we are going to discuss about the mechanisms what is the mechanism behind that that cell membrane permeability integration the ethylene is helps to membrane permeability integration and it's helpful for the protein and nucleic acid metabolism then it's helpful for the regulation of axin metabolism it's a sequential process and it's a metabolic metabolism of cytokine and the cytokine it helps to utilizing the ip it's uh, into oxaloacetate conversion using it's producing adenine and 3 methyl butanine gyproline mechanism uh, in the cytokine mechanism itself they are using the cytokine ox oxidase it's uh, inactivating cytokines gyproline mechanism is inducing the activity of the glucose gluconeogenesis enzyme and it uh, promotes the gc germination and induce the alpha amylase activity and it's uh, since is the or uh, so it is helpful for the germination of monocot C. That triazanthin is uh, produced uh, the anthroxanthin, uh, this producing the trans vilosanthin and it is converting the enzyme, it is called as the trans neosanthin and uh, it is providing the production of the xanthin. This xanthin production helpful for uh, this converti the conversion of xanthine into the abscisic aldehyde uh, this abscisic aldehyde conversion it's uh, helpful for the abscisic acid production okay uh, this uh, abscisic acid production it's uh, after the production that is all uh, forming the pathway to the uh, met uh, the vacuoles uh, to it's re releasing the product to the vacuoles Tomorrow we will discuss about the sensory photobiology of the plant and the solid transport, how it happen in the plant. 
and second is metabolite stress control in the plants and uh, stress physiology that all about the uh, unit uh, unit 6 and i am going to discuss about the 